goodness. All right, folks, how's it going? Name's Steffi. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Red for the Game Boy Color. Right, okay, so I hope everyone is doing good today. Because now we're going to be advancing the plot. Well, not advancing the plot, but we're going to the next city now, which is pretty cool. Okay, so as a reminder before we go, there are two items you need in your inventory because it depends on what path you're going to take. That's right, there's two paths to get to um, the next city and we're going to be taking both today just to show the example of both sides. So, ultimately you need the Poke Flute from um, Mr. Fuji, that's when you clear the Pokemon Tower, so if you haven't done it already, now's the time to do it unfortunately. Um, and if you're going to take one of the paths, you're going to need your bicycle as well, and to get that you need to go to the Pokemon Fan Club in Vermilion, which is um, one of the buildings to the southwest, just the opposite side of the gym, and then you get a bike voucher, take it to sell it on, go to the bike shop and get a bicycle that way. So, in this, so what we're going to do first is we want to take the bicycle route first. That's why you need the bicycle. So, let's go do it. So, um, of course you can ride your bicycle anywhere in caves, fields or towns or cities. You can't do it in, obviously you can't do it in buildings. But, this is the only time when you ride it automatically. You, um, basically, you're constantly on a downward motion, and yeah, you pretty much have to be pretty um, pretty skilled with your controls, you know. You'll see what I mean eventually, anyway. So yeah, so we're going to go through Celadon for possibly the last time, well, it depends. I mean, I will be doing a little bit of shopping here before the end of the game anyway, because I want to get some X accuracy stuff, you know, for the, the big ones. So anyway, we've got Snorlax. A sleeping Pokemon blocks the way. So yeah, so both routes are blocked by a... Snorlax. I'm going to try and capture a Snorlax if I can. Actually, I do not have any balls. You're right, I don't have any balls whatsoever. Shit. Right, well, I'll tell you what, let's just head to the store and let's just buy something. I mean, you won't take long. We're right next to Pokemon, anyway. Pokemon Mart anyway. Quickly a detour. So, yeah, as I said, Snorlax. Um, there's one Snorlax on each route. And you need the Pocket Flute to wake them both. So, you get two attempts of this. It is possible to. Um, is it here? Is this the one? Yeah, let's go. Um, great balls. Well, I liked ultra balls, but great balls were fine. Uh, let's get about 60. I'll do. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, so you get two chances of doing this. This is the only time Snorlax will appear in the game, as far as I know. Um, I don't believe there's wild encounters. I do not think so. Um, of course, I will put any information in the top right hand corner as usual, in case I'm wrong. But I don't think I am this time. So, let's introduce ourselves to Snorlax, a normal type Pokemon. And the Poke Flute. Definitely played the Poke Flute. I always used to hum that wee tune. Snorlax woke up. It attacked at a grumpy rage. Well, I mean, you know the saying, don't you? Let sleeping dogs lie. So, anyway, here is Snorlax. Well, Snorlax appeared. Level 30, so yeah, so pretty good. Also, I changed the roster up a little bit as well. We have Jackie to start things up with. Let's do a Comet Punch. Fighting type, but... Very, 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 very low damage, but it's perfect because I do want to catch a Snorlax just to add it to the roster. By the way, we have 30 Pokemon. Yeah, that's another thing as well about Snorlax. It will use rest and you will heal up, so yeah. It makes Snorlax such a bitch when it comes to capturing it. But ultimately, we'll see what we can do. This might take a while. I think it's only got something like 15 rests, I think, in terms of PP. And also, Snorlax is a very tanky, tanky, tanky boss as well. See what I mean? Yeah, I'm just going to fast forward this if that's alright. Because we'll be here all fucking day if that's the case. Yep, see, he started sleeping again. I swear, rest isn't the... I think it is actually the only move it has, I think. Okay, that I started resting again, you kidding? Okay, now I've got no moves left, so let's switch over to Beamat. Beamat might be able to help us out. Let's go Scratch. Headbot, yeah. Very powerful, as you can saw that. Okay, we need to Scratch again. And we'll try again. Uh, yep, yeah, that's gone. <laughs> Snorlax is a powerful Pokemon, I'll tell you that now. Right. So, let's try and capture him now. I think he should be... 
easily to capture. Honestly, I don't really have time to, um... Oh, God. I was gonna say, I don't really have time to, um... Be messing around. Because I want to get both paths done today. Come on. There we go. Alright, Snorlax was caught. Mm -hmm. That's the ABAB trick. <laughs> New Pokemon Dex... Uh, Pokedex data will be asked for Snorlax. Snorlax, the sleeping Pokemon. 6, 11, 1,014 pounds. Very lazy, just eats and sleeps as his rotate bulk builds. It becomes deadly and more slothful. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Slo uh, sorry, Snorlax is a really powerful Pokemon. You can tell from the Edbot then. And we're going to christen this guy. That's ass. <laughs> May I present to you my spy in the Ministry of Defense? Fat bastard. First things first, where's your shit at? I've got a turtle head poking out. <laughs> oh, yeah, they'll see why not. Right, anyway, let's get back to the Pokemon starting to heal up. Honestly, I don't like speeding gameplay up, but, you know, it saves the recording, you know what I mean? Not to mention, we just started as well. If this was halfway through the, the episode, I would have cut it out. So anyway, here we are then. We're at the bicycle route. Uh, let's go see if there's anything else up here. We're going riding together. Hmm, okay, cool. Hello. I'm going for a ride with my girlfriend. Oh. Right, she looks the same. <laughs> so yeah, so this is what you need to bicycle for. Hello. Don't say anything. It'll probably, if you don't have a bicycle, it'll probably say that there's only for bicyclists only. So, yeah, so as soon as we come out, what I like. And we got trainers as well, so let's start fighting. Wait, what? I want to ride, and I want to fight too. So, yeah, so our uh, Snorlax is really powerful, as I'm mentioning. Twice, you can only catch them twice in the game, so you can get two Snorlaxes. That's it. <laughs> Honestly, fucking. Okay, I've been slurring my words all day today. I really have. Anyway, let's use some comp punches. Start leveling up, um... Start leveling up Jackie, then. Five, nice. Pound. Yeah. So, yeah, so Jackie, remember, Jackie has the higher attack and higher speed over Hitmonlee, which is HP and defense. Okay, that's his coffin. Not too bad. The fact is we've got 15 Comet Punches, not too bad, but we do need to give him some other moves. We don't need to worry about that. I think... I don't know what moves Hitmonchan learns by default. I'm sure he learns the element of Fire Punches by default, I think, so... Making Jackie really powerful, because... There's three different punch moves in the game. Obviously, sorry, four, because you've got Mega Punch, but um, Rocky's got that. Um, you've got Fire Punch, Lightning Punch, and Ice Punch. The fact is that Jackie can learn all three of them. Now, I'm not too sure if it's um, TMs only or naturally. It might be naturally, it might be wrong, but it makes Jackie a very, very powerful Pokemon. It does, just because of the elemental coverage. It's brilliant. Do you dare laugh? <laughs> what you gonna do away? We like just hanging here. What's it to you? Nothing much. Alright, next one. Nice bike. Head it over. Oh, my dead body. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Cue ball. Yeah, <laughs> cue ball wants to fight. And I like the placement of his, uh, of his skull, if you know what I mean. Alright, so we're half health with Jackie. Let's, uh, let's keep pounding and doing what we're doing. Health, how bad? Ooh, five hits. Getting lucky with the hits, aren't I? Very lucky with the hits. Get some again. Ooh. Take a good bit off. Mm -hmm. Just don't have the um, just don't have the defense for it. Not, not to mention levels are quite easy as well. I did use the uh, I am using my lower level Pokemon, but like closest. Lowest level Pokemon, you know, averagely. Um, yeah, I've got Boner and <laughs> I've got the other Pokemon that I've captured, but it's just too low leveled for this point. And I've already done enough leveling for the main team as well, so 
you know. But there will be a few times when I will have to grind. Specifically the final um final not dungeon, but the Elite Four. Ugh. I'm gonna have to level up to about 60 for that, so that's gonna take a good bit of time. Mm -hmm. Alright, Jackie. Thank you for your service. Mm -hmm. Alright. So we got the next one. Let's get beer map. I haven't used beer map in a while. I have not used beer map in a while at all. Alright, let's just take this is, but they won't. Oh, almost. Oh, yeah. Might just be able to use scratch attack now. Mm hmm. I still got a bunch of TNs in the, um, in the computer, but none of these moves knock out. Yeah, none of these moves actually, like, synergize well with other Pokemon and I. Hm, get it. Who needs your light? Well, I need it. Hello. Come out and play, little mouse. <laughs> Come out and play, <laughs> warriors. <laughs> I'll never play that uh, clip if I can find it. Warriors, come out to play. All right, give us the fight again. Uh huh. Okay, what we got? Thank you. All right. What did come? I think about that. Wonderman. Does Doug Trio blow in Slash? Possibly. Focus energy that increases um, the critical hit rate. Oh shit! It's a chop. It's a hit. Yeah, I thought so. Now I'm not sure if focus energy is actually um, 100% crit rate or it just increases the crit rate. I think it might be the. Um, I think it might be the former. I think it might increase it to 100%, and then from there you need to use focus energy again if you want to use it for a critical hit. Very useful if you want to take advantage of the stab. Uh, mechanic. Yeah, if you want to take full advantage of the stab mechanic, and you know that you've got the elemental typing, but you just don't have that extra oomph to finish the guy off, you know what I mean? So, for the most part, yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Alright, let's get Rio. Mm -hmm. And Rio has Thunder Shock at last, a fucking Thunder move. This late into the fucking game. <laughs> I could have done one that earlier, I'll tell you that now. But it's fine. Alright, let's get a ball. You little rat. Mm, that's right, we're not else, we're a rat now, apparently. Okay. Hmm. I'm still hungry. And me. So, hangry. Yeah. I don't get hangry, do I? No, I think I do. I'm a chill, down to earth person. Incapable of. Seem red. Well, maybe, maybe not. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, that wasn't a bad. That wasn't bad whatsoever. Might be able to uh, take this guy out actually. It's a good experience for you as well. All right, quick hit. Go. Let's try one. No, oh, that was easy enough, wasn't it? Bad, bad, bad. Mm -hmm. I like my Pokemon ferocious. Here to help enemies. Well, they're not dead, that is. Hey, you just bumped me. You'd be surprised the the amount so you'd be surprised with the amount of encounters or fights or scrapes that happen in real life just because of small little things like that. Honestly. It's amazing what starts fights nowadays. Weezen's dead. <laughs> Weezen did his last wheeze. Alright, Bowser, not bad. Of course, if we were level 35 or something, that would have been a level up, but no, it's not. Gaboom! Uh -huh. You can also get to Fushia from Vermilion using a coastal road. Mm -hmm. that's, the, um, that's the other path, but we're not going to do that yet. Okay, so we've still got one more trainer to do. Sure, I'll go. Mm -hmm. Thanks. That's the spirit. <laughs> if somebody offers to fight you, you must fight back in kind. <laughs> like, what's the fight? Four Pokemon this time. Huh, Grimer. Okay, so Grimer Mock. You always find when a trainer has more Pokemon, they're always, always lower level than average. I mean, to be extremely honest, here's the thing. Um, I could have came down Fuchsia 
Yeah, I kind of came down um, the other path to Fuchsia and left um, Slyco for a little bit later on. And to be honest, I should have done, but I just wanted to do all the events at Saffron first. Do you know what I mean? And then work my way down. I mean, I already knew that, um, well, to be honest with you, I knew the rival fight in, Sly in Slyco was going to be hard, but I didn't think it'd be that fucking hard. Like those levels, you know, like 40 odd. Like, I actually thought it was just going to be like 35 or even like 36, you know, mid 30s, but <laughs> nope. Nope, 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 nope. So, yeah. Mental. Absolutely mental. Yeah, if I remember rightly, I think there is actually some, um, there's actually some items we can get on this path as well. So, no Kramer. Actually, speaking of, how long have been recording for so far? Jesus Christ, 15 minutes? Are you kidding? Wow. I hope to God I can get both done in 40 minutes or so. But uh, I'm definitely not making it an hour episode. Okay. Route 16 is Zelon City to Fushia City. So basically, once you pass this level, it's automatic scroller going down. So the thing is though, you can actually use the up key to keep sort of level and stuff, but for the most part you're gonna be going down. So there is there is actually items we can get around here, I think. And it's well Pokemon too, so let's see what we can have a, let's see what we can get. Spiro. Actually, um if I remember correctly, there's actually an interesting trade you can do. That involves the Evolve Form Fero. I think you can trade a Fero for an Aerodactyl, I think? I know what the location of the trade, but I'm not sure if it's like a Fero for a um, Aerodactyl or the other way around. If I... Saying that, I'm not even sure where you get an Aerodactyl from. It's either, um... I'm sure it's not random encounter. I think it's very similar to like the fossil situation back at Mount Moon. I might be wrong about that. Honestly, like I only know. I would say I'd only know about 90% of Gen 1. There's little nitty bitty things that I end up forgetting or get wrong. Oh, cool. Level 41. Alright. Uh, 71, 16, 115, 109. And no new move. That's fine. That's your. Mm hmm. So yeah, so, I don't know. It's a nice trip down memory lane, this though. Very nostalgic. But, I mean, we're way over halfway now. In fact, I'd say once we do the next gym, and the events at uh, Fushia, that's just pretty much like, what, over three quarters of the way, I think? Something like that. Okay, so we've got another, got another train here. There's no money in fighting kids. So why fighting us then? What, sport? Pleasure? That's for the sake of it. Give us the fight. Mm -hmm. yeah, these guys got mankeys and grimers and shit. No contest whatsoever. I was like, no contest. Not to mention with the high special stat as well. We're pretty much just rocking through these. Primate. Mm. First time we've seen a primate. They're actually not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Great shot. Great mm. clip. Good bet. That's fine. We got them there anyway. Alright, that's 25. Uh, thank you for your cue ball. Thank you very much. Bird out. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we've got one more fight up here, I think. Mm -hmm. You head to Fushia? I am. I am. Are we going the right way, good sir? I think there is another total of like six more trainers, I think, on this route, I think. But we'll place for it nonetheless, anyway. Where's it? Where? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get these gunshots. So, if I remember correctly, um, I think in Fushiro as well, we get two more HMs. We get uh, one for Surf and one for Strength. Uh, surf to go on the water and, you know, go from place to place. And if you want strength, because we will eventually move into these, uh, we will run into, like, these big boulders that we will need to move out of the way. And they're some of the most annoying fucking puzzles at all time. It's like, it's like reels almost down. 
the shotgun. I think that's it. Nice. This would be four. For real, the question is, can you survive this fight and get experience, or is your ass going to be fainted before we know it? Let's have a look. Sludge? Nah. You're gone. Goodbye, old friend. Alright, let's get our clay out now. Okay, what do we have? We have uh, Slam. Okay, Slam. Come on, Slam, and welcome to the jam. <laughs> I need to watch that again. Space Jam, such a great film. The original, not the remake. I'm sorry, but I absolutely refuse to watch the remake. I just, I don't know. I don't know why. Crash and burn. I guess to some degree, it's kind of like Tim Burton's um, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, or Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, as it's called. I just, I don't know. I grew up watching the, um, it's not, it's not the true movie to the book. It's sort of like a more fantasized version of it. Like, I know some of the, um, no, I'll tell you what it is. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory is a super cut of the book. That's what it is. There's certain events in the film that doesn't cover in the book Charlie and the Chocolate Factory where Tim Burton's, Tim Burton's version does. That's more true to the story, to the book, but Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory isn't. Reach for the sable. That's fine. We're slamming. And we're missing. And we're getting hurt by poison. God fucking damn it. Oh, because this son of a bitch doesn't want to die. Minimize. That's why. Evasion. Uh, well, I have a little sum for that. Sable, sable all you want. Your ass is going down. Goodbye. Yep, regardless of evasion. 100%. Honestly, those moves are so powerful, they really they are. As I mentioned, my ear is getting a little itchy. I hate itchy ears. There we go. Let's fix myself. Okay, there we go. What's going on? Nice. Alright, defeat the biker, and because we're poisoned, smoked. Yeah, exactly. There's a poison. We're gonna get a lot of this. Alright, I think we go down this way. Let's see. It's a notice. Watch out for discarded items. Uh huh. Oh, I think. Great tips. All Pokemon are unique. Even Pokemon of the same type and level grow at different rates. Ah, so those right. Trigger tips. Press the A or B button to stay in place while on a slope. Oh, yeah, like that. Okay. Route 17, Zelda on the Fushia. Mm hmm. But we're not to go up the other way. Yeah, and because we're on a hill. That's why we're going down automatically. I need a little exercise. Mm hmm. Maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. Who knows? If it's a cube ball, he does need exercise. This is a thought. Alright. We got cube ball. Little manky. Okay. Yeah, our guy's looking, I guess, all yellow in health. Arc like gets some experience, huh? It's actually taking them out instead of him being taken out. Nice. So I think, like I said, I think there's a few more trainers to take care of. Um but I'll tell you something, when it comes to Fushia itself, Fushia is a Japanese style city and the actual layout of it looks pretty cool in my opinion. Specifically the uh, the remake, um, Fire Red and Leaf Green, for example. Yeah, the city looks really nice. It's a little bit of a ball to get to the gym in Pokemon Center though, because you pretty much like have to go out your way to go around it. I don't know why the fucking um, devs did that, you'll see what I mean, eventually. But I do like this portion of the game. I do. Thank you, Paul. You good workout. Mm. Okay. And our collect's going down now. Painted. Yep. 
Okay, so I think we still got a couple more... Yeah, we still got two more Pokemon to get us through this, so it should be fine. And I think... I think I might have to dedicate this episode to the bike route. I don't really want to do it, but we'll see. I, just, I don't want to make it too long, that's the only thing. I should see what I can see, how long we're recording for now. Uh, we'll see, I might be able to do the other path. Like Voltorb Electrify. I mean, we've come up to 25 minutes now, but we'll see, we'll see. As long as it's no longer than 40 minutes, that's fine. Actually, I think I might just dedicate it to, um... Yeah, I think I might just dedicate it to, you know what? To the bike route. So, yeah. We have Dream Eater. So let me see if we can use it normally. Nope, because the enemy needs to be put asleep. Right, I get it. See, Dream Eater, how it works is... You can only use it on enemies that sleep, and uh, what happens is you drain the health and heal yourself. It's actually really powerful. It really is powerful. Yep, it's a really good move. It's a good combo move. Dreamers eat. Yeah, but it does heal you up as well, so it's really powerful. How many times I'm gonna say it's really powerful, eh? <laughs> right, let's put you to sleep again. No, nope. we'll keep doing it until you fall asleep. I do love that little chime. Mm -hmm. Dream Eater. Thank you for the tasty meal. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just for the spirits, and bike is done. Sweet. Grounded out. Hmm. RJT. Let's get moving. So yeah, so I do believe there's a lot of, like, hidden items here as well. I put one, well, why? But yeah, um, I was just saying, there's a lot of, like, obviously, like, hidden items here and shit. But, um, you gotta keep tapping the A button, but I don't know where they are. I'm not gonna scour fucking every square of the tile of the place. Let's see why this guy's Pokemon won't evolve. Machoke. There is a reason. Because as I said in the last episode, or the episode before that, Machoke can only be evolved while trading. And I didn't mean to do that. Too fucking early. But it doesn't affect us anyway, because uh -huh, we're a ghost. And if you try to chop for a ghost, there you go. Let's see. But, I think he'll tell us if we actually, like, talk to him again. Let's see. Good night. That's right, psychic types, uh, psychic attacks are super effective against fighting type Pokemon. Very nice. <laughs> That's a thousand. Easy. Cute ball. Why oh, you? Mm hmm. Alright, see what you say. Maybe some Pokemon need elements don't to evolve. Yeah, but. See, if you were playing this for the first time and this guy said, oh, you know, you need elemental stones for Machoke, for example, and you were using a Machoke. You wouldn't know that you need to trade him for him to evolve into a match sorry, Machamp into a match up. Okay, that's right. Be Rebel. <laughs> My Rebel Yell! <laughs> I love that song, Rebel Yell. Good song. Okay, keep on what's the fight. Okay, what have you got? Blimey. Go, Casper. No, oh, I did it again, fuck's sake. <laughs> It's alright, it's gonna miss anyway. Alright, let's try and put him to sleep again. So yeah, you say this is kinda cheap. Yeah, that is cheap, I'm gonna be honest. But I mean, you know, if the shoe fits. Okay, about to use Macho. Uh huh. Oh, I mean Macho. So do you want Macho? I get, I get the two confused so fucking badly. So this is Machoke, you have one, the four, like, the four-armed fucking Goro-looking one, that's Machamp. Right, I get it. I'm an idiot, I really am. Go on, Casper, put him to sleep. Go. And Dream Eater. I have a slated dream with some dreams of the Cypress. 
and would a good sir like that with some dream wine? Yes, please. <laughs> How was your meal, sir? It was dreamy. <laughs> what the fuck am I on about, man? There's a notice. Don't throw the game. Throw Pokeballs instead. <laughs> hey, it makes sense. Makes sense indeed. Alright, well, I think we just got one more guy and that's us, I think. Get lost, kid. Ambushed. No, not just driving past. Are you came to us. That makes me laugh, though, with like some of these Pokemon uh, trainer comments. It's like, fuck off, I don't want you around here, but yet they come to us, you know what I mean? Makes me laugh. Back of B. Alright, she's hypnosis. Just to put it to sleep. Basically, I'm just finding an excuse to use hypnosis charges, that's it. <laughs> I like to go down the list in terms of attacks, but you know, I'm just finding an excuse to use them. Streamer. I mean, not to mention, I've played Born Dreamy to check it out to show you guys, so I might as well fucking use it in its correct state, otherwise it won't work at all. Okay, she's hypnosis. Did effect. Tackle, did effect us. Did effect. <laughs> did effect. <laughs> Away, it went through. Fucking hell, dude. Oh god, it woke up. God damn it. At least I could put it to sleep again. That's the sleep. Thank you very much. I'd say something else a quick uh, save roll to uh, get him out to sleep, and that really was. Very surprised. I wish my Pokemon woke up quickly like that. But I mean, without the use of like uh, the Pokemon flute shit. Lucky bastard. Alright, Casper Groove 41, 57, 46, 93, 109. No new move. Okay, it's fine. That's coughing. Mm hmm. Okay, she's hypnosis again. Nothing. I've only got three hypnosis left as well, by the way. I was going to say, poison's not really effective, is it? It's not. Okay, I'll see. Oh, let's use stream here. Missed? Oh, because it woke up. Fuck's sake, dude. Alright, last hypnosis kicked through. Still fast asleep? Good. I'm telling you, this guy. This guy. Dreamsy. So, yeah, so you can see it absorbs HP, which is pretty nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use um, these last three um, charges just to finish it off. There we go. So we can use other people. That's uh, use other attacks, sorry. Like I said, I just prefer to go down the list in terms of the attacks, you know. I know it sounds really odd, but the way I play my Pokemon games, and I've said it time and time again, is I like to use the Pokemon until it's fainted. So, for example, if a Pokemon has stat moves, um, you know, oh, no, you know, like Sand Attack, um, Poison Powder, that kind of shit, I like to keep using it over and over and over until all the PP is used up, and then it uses the Struggle move, which is a, um, a normal type attack with Recoil. So you do damage and the Pokemon takes damage. I keep using it until it either gets fainted by conventional means, as in the enemy Pokemon takes it out, or it takes itself out, you know? That's just the way I like to play it. <laughs> Are you satisfied? Off break. I need to catch a few Zs. If I find catch a few Zs, then you fucking asshole. Honestly, it makes me laugh. Okay, that's what it says. Cycling road slope ends here. Yep, it does. And just like that, we are back to manual control. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we are in Fushia City, which is pretty nice. Yep, we are here. Hello. Cycling road is all uphill from here. Mm hmm, it is. <laughs> Alright, let's go search and see if anybody's here. There is. Hello. I'm looking for slow, bro. Wanna trade one for my Lickitung? Ooh, Lickitung. Ooh, shit, 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 shit. Yes, Lickitung's actually not too bad. Uh, but we haven't got slow grow, unfortunately. We can get slow poke from the game corner, I believe, but that requires um, <clears throat> a little bit of uh, gambling, if you will. Anyway, we've got a few trainers down here. I always check every grassy area for new Pokemon. Hey, that's the name of the game. That's the name of the game. You never know what you're going to find. Anyway, we've got a new kind of trainer. We have Bird Keeper, which, oddly enough, uses plain type Pokemon. <laughs> oh, what a concept. So yeah, as you can see, the, low, the levels here are a lot lower, so, you know, I, I guess you were meant to come down to this other city and train up before. 
bonus life, but hey, you know. Anyway, let's see what we're doing. Draw pack. The one major weakness of uh, Casper, blind type moves. Well, actually, I think it's ghost type moves as well. It's Super Fero. Super Fero? I mean, it's say super effective, it's because I read Fero. Anyway, here's Fero. Mm hmm. Fucking ugly son of a bitch. It really is. Anyway, I just realized I have to be careful. Yeah, mirror move. Uses the last move of the enemy Pokemon used. So as I was saying, I just remembered I gotta be careful because I only got one Pokemon left after Casper goes down. Yep. That's a six. Not bad. Right keeper. Mm-hmm. That you gotta say, guess up. So. Anyway, still got number two trainers and then Nasus and Fushio are all to go. It's my turf. Get out of here. Off. Alright, if this guy says this is his turf, there's two other Pokemon trainers there. Why the fuck is he not chasing them off? That's what I wanna know. Anyway, Spiro. Mm hmm. 26. Okay, uh, let's keep using Nightshade. Just keep going until Gasper's down. It's the name of the game, after all. Fur attack. Furry attack. Fury attack. <laughs> Fury attack. <laughs> Fury attack. Fury attack. Fucking hell, dude. Ow, guys! Oh, hey! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Spiro next. Another Spiro. I'm surprised he doesn't have a Pidgey to spice <laughs> to spice things up. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. Growl. Really? At this point? Growl? Please. We're getting there. We are getting there. Two. Mm -hmm. Let's use Spiro. Let's use mirror move. Mm -hmm. Ah, Fury attack. Does it do shit though? Doesn't. In fact, I mean, Casper's getting some good experience from this. I wouldn't be surprised if it got to level 42 soon. It's right on time. 59, 48, 95, 112. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Fucking god, it been that I did. You know. Asking you shall receive. Alright, so that was the last um, night shade, so I just make a drain. I'm not going to do much because it's uh, super ineffective, but we got high enough special stats to, you know, do the dude. Do the dude. Do the dude. Do the deed, just one minute say. Do the dude. Oh, bro. Darn. Mm -hmm. Alright, one more. How'd you like my bird call? I think you're fucking cuckoo. Fucking local. I mean, you're completely local, I say. Dodrio. Yeah, I don't think we've run into. Did we run into Dodo? 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 No, we're not running into Dodo yet, have we? No, we haven't. So this is a bit of a surprise. Actually, level 34. I mean, fuck, we've got to be careful. That's a bit beefy. Should be fine, so we'll keep using uh, Mega Drains. Get health back up and shit. Yeah, 7 health. Heck. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Sorry, we can keep sandbagging it, it's all good. Mm -hmm. Draw back. <laughs> Bye, Casper. Yeah. Okay, I actually forgot who the last po Pokemon is. Oh, it's Rocky. Alright, that's fine news. That's fine game. Now, Rocky learned a very interesting move when I was living them up. We have Earthquake, a 120 base ground move. Fucking strong. Probably one of the strongest attacks in the game, actually. The defensive because it's flying, of course it is. Here's me trying to fucking show it off in good fashion, and of course, they're, they're immune to it. Rocking. Now's the time not to be missing, my friend. Come on, dude. You're the last fucking Pokemon. Don't miss. Thank you. God damn, eh? Yeah, god damn. Alright, Thousand. 
Alright, to be our clock. Be fur keeper! Oh yeah, to bug you! Mm hmm. Alright, let's get out of here then. Okay, so we're technically in Fushia now, which is pretty nice. Route 18, Zaldon City, Fushia City. Mm -hmm. We are here. And boom! Yep. Fucking beautiful time. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is what I mean by. Is thing. This is what I mean by being a pain in the ass, right? So, this is the, um, like the major, like, hub of the town, you know, this is the major, like, part of the town, you know, houses and shit. Here's the thing. This Pokemon Center, right? I got lost. I didn't. I actually came the other way, actually. I'll tell you that now. I came the other way in my first time playing this, and I got so lost here. I was like, how the hell did you get to the Pokemon Center? Right? And I didn't think to come down this way. And this little path here. Yeah, this little path here takes you around to the gym, and it takes you around to the Pokemon Center. Honestly. Who's your city Pokemon Gym? Leader, Koga. The Poisonous Ninja Master. Mm-hmm. That's correct. Anyway, let's say hello to some of the local people over here before we finish up the episode. Safari Zone's warden is old, but still active. All his teeth are false, though. Mm-hmm. Bill, Bill files his own Pokemon data on his PC. Did he show you? He did, actually. I guess that's kind of like a reminder, I guess. I don't know. Hmm! You meant Bill! He's my grandson! He's always liked collecting things, even as a child! Mm-hmm. So yes, this is Bill's house. Or well, Bill's family, if you will. This is more than that's his brother, I guess. I don't know. Right, well anyway, so let's talk to some of the local people in Pokemon Center. If you're studying Pokemon, visit the Safari Zone. It has all sorts of rare Pokemon. Yep. You need to go through the Safari Zone to progress with the plot. You can't win with just one strong Pokemon. It's tough, but you'll have to raise them evenly. Actually, that's false because there is a fucking YouTuber called, um... Shit, I forgot his name now. That's gonna fucking, that's gonna fucking bug me now. Anyway, so yeah, there's a YouTuber that does, um, one Pokemon only challenges. And, honestly, mad. Absolutely mad. Like, for example, can I beat Pokemon Red with a Ratata, for example? Not bad, man. There's a narrow trail west of Viridian City. It goes to the Pokemon League H quarters. The HQ governs all trainers. Mm -hmm. That's where we do the final, um... That's where we do the final uh, couple of fights to win the game. Alright, let's get Pokemon back to health. Brilliant. Okay, we we'll need your Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Alright, and that's it. That's going to be it for this episode. So it's pretty cool. So, yeah. So, this episode was dedicated to the bike route, which isn't too bad. I mean, how long have we been going for? Uh, 42 minutes. Are you fucking kidding me? 40 minutes to do all the fights and to do one portion of the... Ugh, eight. And here's me wanting to do both paths, huh? Well, it would have been small. It would have been shorter if um, I was editing out all the fights, but it's fine. It's cool. Right. So at the beginning of the next episode, we are going to start in Vermilion City, and this time we're going to go the other direction. Um, there is a little bit of a reason when you want to go that way. It's more trainers, more experience, and there's a couple of items, if I remember, on that route that would be very nice to have. Uh, some TMs and shit, which is pretty cool. Right, well anyway, my friends, that is good for today's episode, so thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like on the episode if you enjoyed it. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Links down below, Twitter and Discord. Check them out if you wish. And apart from that, enjoy the rest of your awesome day. Hope to see you next time. Take care.